Hi there, I'm Amanda Castor with Material Girl Quilts. Today I'm here to share with you my confetti quilt and this is a quilt that I, I like to call it a bonus quilt because I made it when I was using leaders and enders. Now you may be wondering what are leaders and enders. A lot of people when sewing in between um, chain piecing or maybe when you're um, in between sewing your blocks together, they will grab a scrap of fabric, a small scrap of fabric and, and sew along it to keep your needle down and to save some thread um, in between your blocks and in between your chain piecing. But instead of just using a small scrap of fabric that you'll end up throwing away, what I like to do is pre-cut some squares that you can use to uh, piece a quilt together. So for this pattern, what I, how I started is I cut a bunch of two and a half inch um, solid color squares and then two and a half inch background or white squares. And I just kept these next to my sewing machine so that whenever I was at the end of a chain piecing row and ready to press those or maybe between when you're sewing rows together, um, I had them ready and then I would just sew these two squares together to create um, a two patch of two two and a half inch squares. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And since we're using that as a leader and ender, then that's when you usually will, you know, cut off your chain piecing or whatever you've been working on, go press these, and then you'll come back with, you know, the next set of your block or the next thing you need to add on to your sewing. So then once you get back to sewing your, uh, the rest of your quilt, you'll just take all of these two patches that you created and put them to the side, and then you can press them whenever, you know, you're ready, and you'll end up with a section like this. Now once you have completed um, as many of the two patches as you'd like to for your own quilt, then you're going to cut um, some rectangles of the background fabric that are two and a half inches by four and a half inches. So you'll need the same amount of these as you do have as you have of the um, two patches. So since I had an 154, I need 154 rectangles to go along with these. Now this is going to become your next leaders set of leaders and enders. So what you'll do is just lay these right sides together, sew along um, the long seam of your rectangle, and then use those in between your piecing, and you'll just keep doing those in between blocks, rows, um, chain piecing, whatever, until you have all of those finished. And then once those are all finished, you will end up with a four and a half inch unfinished square that looks like this. So this is your completed block for the confetti quilt. Now as you can see in this layout diagram, I chose to rotate to the directions of my blocks in between each block and each row just to give it a little more play in the um, quilt design. Now you could also just set these all in the same direction and it would give you another beautiful quilt design like this. Now again, as I stated, I completed 154 of these blocks. And so when I finished those, I laid them out in a pattern of 11 blocks per row for 14 rows. And then I finish it off with a two and a half inch wide border of the background fabric. So my finished quilt measured 48 by 60. Again, you can create as many of these blocks as you'd like to make as big a quilt as you want, whatever you want to do, but I just think it's a fun way to um, use the leaders and enders instead of just using scraps that you're going to throw away and actually make something that it, it may take you a while to get the finished quilt because you're just do, if you're doing it just in between chain piecing or blocks of other quilts, but it's a fun bonus project once you are completed. Now again, there are several benefits to using leaders and enders. You save some thread. A lot of machines don't like to just start fresh with um, fabric and though sometimes the bottom thread will get bunched up underneath. Um, my Elna thankfully has no problem with that, but machines I've had in the past would and so using leaders and enders has just avoided that problem. So if your machine has issues like that, I would suggest trying leaders and enders and you can just try little scraps of fabric that you will throw away at first to see if it helps you. But if you do like the um, use of leaders and enders, I highly suggest cutting up some fabric that you'd like to put into a quilt someday. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please click the like button and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any tutorials going forward. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.